Hello, my name is David Soto. I am a former recipient of a small research grant of the British Academy, UK's voice for the humanities and social sciences. Did you know that we can't see our eyes move when looking in the mirror? Our eyes move all the time. For instance, when we read, we make a succession of tiny but very quick eye movements to focus on different words. We can see those eye movements very easily in others, but not in ourselves when we are looking in the mirror. Why is that? First, do not take my word for granted. Go find a mirror and do the following. Look repeatedly at your left eye and then your right eye and note whether you see your eyes move at all. Now I want you to use your smartphone selfie camera, bring it close to your face and record as you look at the left and then the right eye. You should now see a very striking difference between the recording you just made and what you saw in the mirror. It is very easy to see the eye movements in the recording, but your gaze is perfectly still transfixed when looking in the mirror. Why is it so different? Although there is no complete understanding of how our brain does that, it seems that visual information coming from our eyes during the, these uh, quick eye movements is being masked or even actively uh, suppressed by our brain. Imagine a movie being filmed with an extremely unsteady camera. It would be very disorienting and even sickening to watch. Our constant eye movements create similar conditions, but thankfully your brain does a wonderful job at editing out all the jittery bits. So, next time you look in the mirror, you know that this transfixed look of yours is just an illusion. And this is my answer to did you know in two minutes, and I hope it gives you a glimpse into how eye movements are relevant to vision. What else can we learn from studying eye movements? Well, in my research, I am interested in the different ways in which we can use our eyes to control a computer. This work can be relevant to enhance, uh, for instance, video gaming experience or inform the kind of medical technology that is being used to support people with severe physical disabilities. You can find more about eye movements in my blog for the Summer Showcase or learn more about my research on my lab website.